So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about log flumes. So I didn't want to do a ranking video about log flumes just because there aren't that many log flumes in the UK anymore and to be honest with you I've only ridden a small majority of those log flumes so I'm going to be doing more of an information video rather than a ranking video. I am going to be looking at these um, log flumes in order though um, but again that is in no way a ranking. So guys starting off with a little bit of information um, there are currently 39 operating log flumes in the UK. Most are based at seaside locations and small amusement parks. The last log flume to be installed in the UK was at Southport Pleasure Park and that was named Piranha. There was a log flume that moved from um, Camelot to Oakwood in Wales but it was an existing log flume so I'm not going to count that as a new installation. So first guys we're going to be talking about the Fancy Flume of Fancy Island. This was built by WGH Transport Engineering. So there's nothing really special about this particular log flume. Um, the layout is um, just a standard log flume layout. So the theming for this log flume is very good. Um, it started to degrade a bit over the years. The last time I've ridden this was in about 2017 um, and some of the paintwork was starting to fade. Um, some of the foam um, was starting to break off, etc. Um, but back in its heyday, it was a very well themed log flume. The drop on this log flume um, is a standard drop. I couldn't find any information online um, when looking in regards to how high this was. Um, but yeah, from experience, the drop is very good. It's a very standard log flume drop. There's nothing really special about it, but it does cause quite a splash at the end. So guys, the next log flume that I'm gonna be talking about is Nightmare Niagara at the American Adventure. This started operating in 1987 and finished all operations in 2004. Um, and the company that made this was Big Country Motioneering. So this was actually the tallest log flume in the UK. This um, was a really good intense log flume. It's a shame that it didn't get moved to another park because I felt like if this um, log flume had been moved to another park instead of getting demolished um, it could have lived out a good um, long life but uh, unfortunately it was demolished. The layout was very good, um, the layout was quite long, um, not as long as um, the last two um, log flumes I'll be talking about, but um, definitely enough to satisfy you. Again, the theming was very good on this log flume. Um, the log flume itself, the um, the lift hill, um, went into like a mountain type structure um, and you saw various bits of theming in there. It wasn't really themed to anything in particular, um, the station was more of a wooden shed. I think it was going for like a mining type thing, um, but as I say, um, I can't really confirm what the theming was meant to be. Again, going back to that drop, very intense from what I can remember. Um, and again, quite a big splash at the end, just because of how high this log flume actually was. So next guys, we're gonna be looking at Logger's Leap at Thorpe Park. This um, opened at the park in 1989 and finished operations at the park in November 2015. This was actually crowned the tallest log flume in the UK after Nightmare Niagara at American Adventure closed in 2004. This was built by Mac Rides. Yep, that same Mac Rides that built Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. If you haven't watched my review, go watch it now. The theming was very good on this log flume. It was themed to like an old um, like American cabin type thing. You went down the stream um, and then you um, obviously ended up going down the waterfall at the end. There was lots of theming elements on this log flume. One big one I can remember um, was a big like totem pole thing. Um, as you went through the terrain. That's another thing, by the way, guys. This um, log flume was actually a very good 
terrain hugging log flume um, and it hugs the right bits of the terrain as well. When you went down the stream you actually went down a stream and you ended up um, at a big lake before the start of the drop. Moving on to the drop guys, this one's a pretty special one. There was actually a double down section on the drop itself so you got a little bit of airtime as you went down that drop and of course a massive splash at the end because of all that momentum that was built up to going down that drop. So the final one we're going to be talking about guys is the flume at Alton Towers. This opened in 1981 and ceased operation in 2015 due to health and safety concerns. The log flume was built by Mack Rides and Wickerman currently occupies the area where the flume sat before. When this log flume opened this was actually the longest log flume in the world. You have two drops on this log flume. Um, one um, right at the very beginning um, as you sort of make your way into the woodland area and one was at the end of the ride and that was the big drop. So as I mentioned, this um, went through a long woodland area. This whole ride experience was actually around seven minutes, um, if you can believe that. You then entered a um, theming um, like shed type thing and there you saw it. The duck. Yes, this duck was renowned for scaring the pants off of people, it really was. This big duck on sort of rails came towards the boat as you passed it. Then you went um, up a little um, lift section to the final drop. Now this drop really was something special. This drop was open, this drop was big, and it did create a large splash at the end. To add insult to injury, at the end of the ride, you was also sprayed with water um, towards the end of the ride's life. Um, when Imperial Leather bought the rights to the ride itself, um, they installed a big shower that um, was actually in the theme of a shower um, that sprayed you at the end of the ride. When Imperial Leather bought the rights to the log flume itself, they changed all of the boats from standard log flumes to bathtubs and they gave it an all-round um, bath time aesthetic. So you had rubber ducks, the station was themed to sort of like a bathroom um, and of course um, the showers um, that came down on you um, at the end of the ride were themed like showers. Yeah, as I say, it was a great, intense ride experience um, and one that I will remember for a very long time. So guys, that was my video on log flumes. Um, as I say, they are unfortunately a dying breed in the UK. There aren't many being installed. As I mentioned at the start of this video, the last one to be installed was 2012, um, and I doubt that we'll be seeing any anytime soon. So definitely get on these log flumes to get the credit if you can. Just remember, it doesn't count as a coaster credit. So thank you for watching this video, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. You guys have been giving me so much love on my videos lately, and I really, really, really do appreciate it. So please click that like button to let me know that you've liked the video and click the subscribe button down below. Also, click the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. So thank you very much, guys. That's been me, Ryan from iCoaster, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.